And on to our last match of the Halloween day here in Korea. In the upper right, we have our Protoss player bungling that last game. I think he could have won it. I don't know why he got those void rays. Let's see if he does better this time. He is... Liquid Kyoto. And to the bottom left, ooh, 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 ooh. we've got our Zerk player playing a little dirty here. Let's see if it works. He is... All right, well, you know, this is going to mess up Hero at the minimum. Yep. He's going to get in there. Hero's going to lose his forge right and his uh, pylon. Sulky saying, all right, YOLO. I'm doing it. Six yep. pool, YOLO. That's right. Uh... Well, we'll just see what Hero decides to do to come out of this. I'm but, not even shocked that Sulky did this. Sulky's like, ah, I don't know if I can beat Hero, but I might yeah. try to pull fast on him. This is a good map to do it on. Sure. If you try Nexus first here, it's going to be a bit dangerous. And the probe's going to get there as the Lings are hatching. All right, he checks for the hatchery. And he's coming towards there. He hasn't seen the minerals yet. He doesn't know. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my god. Oh! All right, okay. now he knows. He knows, he knows, he knows. He knows! He knows! He's afraid. <laughs> um, so, we do have the pylon going for the main, the forge, a little bit late. So that, I mean, if Sulky micros really well and Hero doesn't micro all that well, he might be able to kill a few probes here. Uh, so that's something that we can see if uh, how that works out. Coming up here. We have our one cannon coming down now. Here come the lings. Let's watch some micro. Back and Lose, forth. Don't forget he loses a lot of mining time from yeah. this. So this is worthwhile for Sulky to do, even if he knows he's not going to kill anything, because here's micro's right. No, Sulky's really microing right here. Yeah. That's exactly what you do. In fact, Hero's catching on and stopping microing. Sometimes the best micro is to not micro at all, Tasis. That is true. Get some guy who's overthinking stuff. All right, so Hero's held on, and Sulky's getting gas. So does Sulky that, is that actually... cannon actually cover both gases? Uh, I don't think it, it doesn't cover either. all of the bottom right, and it... I don't think it actually, covers... I don't, I don't know if it covers I was going to say, he should actually attack the forge first instead of that cannon, because if he doesn't get a cannon up there, he can't get gas. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make a second cannon. Uh, so Sulky getting gas right now, you know what he's going to do, I think? What? No one does this anymore, but I love that he's trying it. Uh, if you actually mine gas from here and make a banelink nest and just come in from both sides with uh, like three banelinks on each side. No, that's true. You can just kill them. Yeah, like because you fill in the gaps in your mineral wall with pylons to make it harder to deal damage to you, but that makes it so the probes can't really run so easily. Yeah. Uh, but you know what? Actually, it looks like by the looks of this, it looks like he's just going to go up to speed to punish uh, Hero if Hero tries to move out with not enough units. But I would love to see if he was going for the Banelings, but no. That'd be a nice mix up there. Yeah. It's just the speed. I can hope tasteless. And yeah, you're right. It doesn't reach. It doesn't reach. See? Normally what you do is make the cannon so that it completely blocks one gas, and then you get the same gas as you get that first sell-off. Exactly. And it didn't matter this time anyway. Well, Hero was in panic mode. He had to get that down no matter what. Mm -hmm. And it blocks all the probes really well, so that's nice. Sure. Some more links being produced, and you know, uh, with the the two gate, I guess you can try to expand. But if you don't get three gate, it's going to be dangerous against speedlings, and that's what's happening. He's making a lot of speedlings. Hero should not have any sort of full wall up by the time Sulky gets her those links. Yep, and that actually could just that, that that could completely deny that expansion, knocking Hero back into the Stone Age. Well. Here we go, Tasteless. This is a lot of lings. All right, and I love this setup here. The speed's about to finish. They're going to be going across the map so quickly. He has simply no idea. Well, he might. He wants to get this. Okay, he gets it right before speed finishes, so he's yeah. got no way of knowing. Oh, and his zealots are going to be in the middle. Okay, well, uh, he might just die. That is a possibility here. Okay, he's making a good wall now. Yeah, but his probe's That's not there. That's so important. This is a really nice wall. He's definitely going to lose the Nexus. He's going to have to cancel that. We'll see what else happens. Oh, not a good surround there. All right, so he's holding for now. He's, You know what? He might have to cancel those two gateways as well. It's a possibility. He will attack, and in the moment that that force field uh, wears off, 
Oh, that's, that's a forge in the gate. I'm sorry. And he'll hold here, but this is a lot of damage being dealt out. Uh, Good force, force fields. fields. Does he have left None over? right now. Uh, oh, he has another sentry. There you go. He should really try getting that forge over there. Yeah, this is pretty nice by uh, here right now, his defense. But uh, the big problem here is that his nexus got canceled. Yep. So, I mean, yeah, okay, three more gates being added. Hero realizes he has to all in from here. This is looking pretty dire. And the longer that he sees no nexus, the more he's going to realize that he may need defense at home. Look at this. He's going to five gates and the six one down the ramp. This looks like it might be a zealot sentry all in. Not, not a shocker, really. Uh, he's not going to be able to recoup from this. You can see how behind he is. It's almost, it's almost saddening, really. Mm -hmm. um, well, uh, now, okay, he's going to put the Nexus down. I guess he's not going to all-in, but I feel like he's still so behind yeah, here. Yeah, I mean, he's going up to... That might be a fake. Could be a fake. Cause, and he's making a cannon, though, so maybe not. Four spine crawlers on the way. He's got five gates off of one base right now. He sees the pylon. All right, so, I mean... The all in is not going to work at this point. Yeah, they're going to have to try to transition into a normal game. Yeah. Hero, very behind. Uh, Hero actually upgrading Hallucination to that try to is scout here. Smart, smart move. Such the right move. Getting Twilight Council as well, also the right move. Twilight Council is the only chance he has at countering anything that comes at him. Because if you go Robo and they go Muta from here, you just lose. It's over. Uh, but, you know, with this, you should be able to hold on against anything, at least for a bit. All right, he's moving the spike crawlers up to the front here to defend. As you can see, the layer's halfway done, and the next gas is on the way. I think he might go Muta here. Uh, I would love to see some Muta here. Me too. S such a decent choice. But, again, uh, he did get the Twilight Council. He's going for blank, so he'll have a, a chance to hold it off. Do well, okay. Um, two more gases here for Hero. And the, the uh, attack is great for Protoss, uh, halfway done. And I think he's going to see, I think it's pretty clear. I think, I almost, oh no, he's going to get an infestation, but excuse me, I was so positive he was yeah. going to go. You know, I think it's else. because he saw that Phoenix come in, that uh, fake Phoenix. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Is, first off, he may not have known it was fake. I think he probably did know it was a hallucination. But anyways, when you see your opponent going Muta, it's not nearly as powerful. Because you're going to be ready for it. So, I, I think it was a good choice uh, by Sulky to switch it up. And here in the meantime is getting a very quick Temple Archive. So he realizes he needs to get some splash damage going. And feedbacks are going to be strong anyways. It looks like we got some Lings coming here for a peek. Backing up now. Blink is almost done. Same with the attack upgrade. Mm -hmm. Armor at about three or one third, I should say. Uh, completion. Yeah. I love how Zerks are finally fashions. catching on and getting that armor upgrade a lot. I know. They needed it. Yeah. I seen it. Um... Psystorm starting this early, I do love that, Tasteless. I really do. Because, you know, in a situation like this where your opponent, you know he's got basically just gateway units, know he's going to have boss or anything like that, and you already have a lot of speedlings, not a terrible choice. He's to get going into the main! A big infested Terran launch, you know? He sees everything now. Mm -hmm. Really nicely done. And, uh, yeah, I got to say, uh, Sulky's played very well. Right now he's got about, um, we don't have any investors out yet, but he has five on the way. Alright, and uh, he's getting his Roach Warren, getting a macro hatch up. And this game is like normalizing somewhat, even though Hero has like a really weird unit composition. This game has been anything but normal, but now we're actually entering that point where if somebody just walked in here and didn't see the early part of the game, they think this was a standard PvZ, you know? Yeah. A little bit wonky from your side, but yeah. Now, let's see. Hero is taking that third base. Can't blame him for that at all. He's got great scouting intel with his hallucinations. He's got really good tech. He's got the blink. A plus two attack is on the way, and you know, he's got Psy Storm, so... I mean, Hero's got a good set of stuff going on for him. And I feel like right now, um, uh, Sulky's kind of in the middle of tacking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's... It is quite true. It's like he hasn't chosen exactly what he's doing here yet. He's making some roaches. He's still making some festers. He's, like, in the middle right now. Yeah. 
Roche is definitely the right choice because of the size forms and his offs. You know what, actually, Hero could uh, win this, actually, if he does this right. He's had it with enough force fields. Yeah, he, he certainly has Ooh. enough stalkers to blink here. He He's killed the fourth that was morphing in. Yep. Killed it, straight up. Uh-oh. Not enough spine crawlers. Backing up. Sulky does have a lot of investors on the high ground there, and Hero does go home. I, I really well, I will like it. I think he's going to go ahead and go to the second now. You think so? Looks like it. I feel like he should go home from here. Well, look, he's, he's going to so check over here. Based, and it's against mostly investors. And when you fungal zealots and they aren't hitting anything, that's painful. All right, looks like he's moving out. Hero may turn around. And uh, looks like the third is pretty much finished up here for Hero. So he's transferring probes there. Now Hero backing up. It's three fine. base for three base, although the Zerg is uh, trying to get this fourth up, as we can see here. Yeah, he's getting his first Robo now. Realizes he is going to need that. Following everything with those uh, hallucinations. Very good job. Sulky looks like he wants to do an attack, but let's see how many force fields we have. Yeah, between the force fields and high template counts, I don't feel like an attack is anything that is going to work out well for him. Um, well, the two gases at the expansion for the Protoss, third base, I should say, have finished. Um, well, I'll be surprised if he attacks. I think he wants to be out on the map so that if Protoss leaves, he can loop around and counterattack. Yeah, I think you might be right. That's the way I'm reading this. I don't know what you think. No, I, I, I think you're pretty right on. I love the fact that there are constantly uh, the Phoenixes over him. The hallucinated Phoenixes, because he doesn't have any observers to do this. And how much damage is he actually hoping to do? I, I don't see any real damage getting done here. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't think this is exactly what you want to attack into. Oh, but nice fungals there on the uh, Yeah, zealots. nice chain fungals. May as well do something with this energy for now. Nice feedback, though. Good storm as well. Uh, okay, uh, Hero actually got that fourth base down there, bottom wow. center. I don't know why Sulky's doing this exactly with the number of force fields that are out. I think it's just because he's maxed on a mostly Roach army. He's got to get some value out of it, but is he going to get that value? His force fields are just out of control good. Hero is uh, being pushed back. How many more force fields does he have? Uh, he is out at this point, Tasteless, and that just leaves him with some size storms, but Roach is okay against that. All right, a few more of the remaining uh, investors coming out now. Roach is pushing in oh, here now. Beautiful storms going down. And it looks like Hero will hold on for now, but Sulky still with a lot of supply. 18 more Roaches in production right now. And I think he might just attack into him again here. Um, Zerg is maxing out again. He might be able to just keep doing this. Yeah. Um, well, wants the fungal. He needs the fungal. Oh, good fungal there. He needs to keep these investors alive. If he were to lose those, that would be terrible. But look at the supplies here. The one thing we can say for Hero, though, is that Sulky has been kept on three bases. If he was on four bases this whole time, I'd have to say Hero's dead with half the supply. But there's still a chance for Hero to come back. It's getting slim, but... Uh, he's pushing in here now. More roaches coming in. Again, the Zerg army is maxed out. I think Hero might be overrun. Yeah, the Immortal it's... goes down, and so will the Stalkers and the Zealots. More energy here. Um, or no, excuse me, not more energy here on these Investors. Mm, this is pretty rough, Tasteless. Just not working out for a hero here. Sulky is Hero's now out. too much. Yeah. Hero's out after doing so long. So many other GSLs. He just wasn't able to perform up to par. And it does look like Sulky is going to get his revenge and move on to the round of 16 here in the GSL Codex. A pretty big deal for a man. It didn't look like he was going to for a while there. But I guess he clutched it out here. It's too bad for Hero. You know he's devastated at the moment. He already knows he G -G. lost. GG. Hero, not up to snuff. No. Sulky does advance. All right. Sulky playing very well there. Yeah. I wow. Mean, Hero, Hero is crushed. He's devastated, man. Like, he's out in the round of 32. He wants to win in GSL so badly, but... It's rough. You know, you, you don't bring your A game every single game, and you might just lose. Yeah. And you know where he definitely didn't bring his A game was uh, against Curious. Yeah, that's where I think he's really going to regret after tonight. Like, this last game, for instance, like, uh, let's talk about Rowan for one second against Sulky. It was rough. Hero was winning. Sulky went for that base trade with the Spine Crawlers. Hero just barely couldn't pull it out, right? It was 
But, you know, you can be like, all right, that, this happens sometimes in PvZ. That's one of those games, yeah. one in a million. Whereas this last game, was it like a six pull? You know, he got the speedlings, he forced the cancel in Nexus. This happens sometimes where you just didn't choose the right follow up to being six pulled, and they did. It's kind of rock, paper, scissors in some ways then. If they're super droning, you don't expand that quickly, you can be in trouble. Beyond the series against Sulky again, it all goes back to Curious. He didn't play well, he didn't execute his builds right. No, he didn't. He didn't. Um, it's too bad I like casting his games. Yeah. That's rough. But you know what? He'll go to Code A and uh, he'll probably get back up. in Code S. So. I hope so. Um, your thoughts on today's games? No oh, good overall, man. Curious looking like a complete beast in first place here. Sulky taking second, very close down the wire with Hero. Maru looking outclassed by everyone in the group, to be honest. Yeah, not worthy of Code S today, unfortunately. All three of these guys played much better than Maru today. And. Um, you know, tomorrow, same time, same place. Group D, Rain Hyun, Yoda, and Gumiho. Protoss or Terran, crap. Terran. My favorite group right there, Tasteless. Looks pretty sick. Gumiho, my favorite Terran. Hyun, one of the best Zergs in the world. And Rain, the greatest human next to Nestia. And Yoda and was awesome in Star Wars. That's true. Man. He has a giant Metachlorian count, Tasteless. He does. <laughs> Almost off the charts. There you go. May not be the chosen one, but in my heart, always. <laughs> um, well, guys, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, it was a lot of fun to cast these games. Um, and again, yeah, we'll be here tomorrow, same time, same place. Add us on Twitter. I'm Call Me Tasteless. He's Artosis. Um, have it. a good Halloween. Be safe. Um, Don't go in any stranger's houses when trick or treating. Don't accept fruit. Razors, and actually, razors and fruit open. Been, razors and uh, vegetables and fruit has been proven as an urban legend. It's actually never happened. I once got a razor and a fruit, so I don't know what you're talking about. Now you are the, the worst liar in the world. That was closest narrow escape, Artosis. <laughs> um, so have a good Halloween, guys. Much love from Korea, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.